Cure for diabetes will be here in five years. I'm sure you heard a sentence like this before, but the cure still isn't here, right? And maybe you noticed that in the past several months, we've been hearing a similar sentence again. Cure for diabetes has been in the spotlight and it's been talked about even in the mainstream media like CNBC. I'm really interested to know this transition from needing insulin to being almost off it. Can you tell me what that was like for you? Can you imagine winning a million dollar lottery like while sitting here somebody says hey here's a ticket boom winner that was me so is it different this time things just have been moving at a very fast pace and what happened earlier this month might be a game changer so let's get right into it and please make sure to watch all the way to the end because i have a very special treat for you in this video we have two major players competing in the race for the cure for diabetes vertex pharmaceuticals and via side and you probably hear about both of them because both of these companies made very exciting announcement lately each of these companies focused on implant insulin producing beta cells which if they are successful in future clinical trials might lead to a functional cure for diabetes and three weeks ago completely out of the blue vertex announced that they are buying via side which was their main competitor and i think this is huge let me tell you why. See, the VX880 stem cell therapy developed by Vertex Pharmaceuticals seems to be extremely effective for the first two participants in the clinical trial. The first type 1 diabetic who received this treatment was practically cured after eight months of this trial. He's now taking no more insulin and his HbA1c of 5.2% and time in range blood sugar of 99.9%. Look like blood sugars and HbA1c of a healthy person. By the way, we had some exciting news coming from the regulator this month as well. Because Vertex announced that FDA allowed them to continue with the next part of their clinical study. And Vertex is now recruiting five additional type 1 diabetics as participants in part B of this study. There is also going to be part C of the study if all goes well. Because in total, there should be about 17 patients enrolled in this phase of the clinical trial. As Andrew Briskin perfectly described, in his article on the Datribe website, the beta cells used in the VX880 therapy are grown in a lab, so they don't need a human donor. One of the biggest victories of Vertex therapy is the ability to grow a seemingly unlimited supplies of these cells, which could be used on a larger scale at the population level. That means that if they are successful, they could create a seemingly unlimited amount of functioning beta cells that could treat millions of diabetics in the future. Now, Vertex seems to have been able to create an extremely effective therapy to normalize blood sugars without the need to take insulin. But here is the biggest challenge that Vertex have been facing. And that's where I think Viasite acquisition comes into play. As you probably know, type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease, which means that the body of a type 1 diabetes diabetic is attacking and destroying their own insulin producing cells. And the autoimmune system also recognizes the genetic signature of the implanted stem based beta cells and it attacks them as well and tries to destroy them. And that's why the people who receive the VX880 must take additional medication which prevents their autoimmune system from destroying these newly implanted beta cells. And that's a major obstacle in the way of Vertex therapy. Now, Viasite, the company that Vertex acquired, has tried to not only implant functioning beta cells in people with type 1, but they also are developing solutions to stop the immune system from attacking these cells without immunosuppressants. Andrew describes these solutions in his article as well. The first strategy Viasite is using is keeping the implanted cells encapsulated in a pouch, physically protecting them from the body's immune system, but still allowing them to receive the necessary nutrients and oxygen. Viasite is already conducting phase 2 clinical trial with this approach known as PEC and CAP. Now, before I tell you about the second exciting strategy that Viasite is working on, I have a very special treat for you. There is an amazing movie I watched a couple weeks ago. The movie follows two patients going through the Viasite clinical trials and the Viasite researchers as they are working to develop cure for diabetes. It's easily the most personal and powerful movie I ever watched because I'm a type 1 diabetic as well and the stories of the people in the movie 
are so personal and so powerful. And I managed to reach the director and producer of this movie, Lisa Hepner, who is also a type 1 diabetic. And she allowed me to do a special virtual screening of this movie for the type 1 talks community. And the best thing is that while the human trial movie is only available in the US and Canada in the cinemas, you can watch it from anywhere in the world if you attend my special virtual screening. The ticket is only 10 bucks and the link is down below so check it out here is a little teaser there's a lot of unknowns and i think it's the unknowns that are terrifying and it's me it's me on that operating table we're developing the bio artificial pancreas that can potentially cure type 1 diabetes when you're doing clinical research there's always the first patient this is Maren. Hi. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you today. i have some extreme lows which cause me to have seizures I'm going blind. But back to Viacide because there is another important therapy they are working on. This one is called PECQT. This therapy using beta cells that have been genetically modified to avoid the destruction by the immune system. And for this approach, Viacide partnered with a company called CRISPR Therapeutics, who is a Nobel Prize winning company for the gene editing method. The gene editing technology allows the researchers to edit DNA of the cells. And if this ends up working, it would be a major win because it would allow Vertex to use their technology without needing the immunosuppressive medication. Now, there are still a few challenges on the way to cure for diabetes. But I think the Vertex acquisition of Viacite is a big deal and it could help a lot. Because as Andrew Briskin knows in his article, researchers can now integrate the most effective parts of the therapies that Vertex and Viacite have been working on. And so the acquisition of Viacite has the potential to accelerate efforts in developing and improving these potential cures. If you want to know more about the results of the VX888 therapy click on this video and watch it next and don't miss the human trial virtual screening link is down below ciao